faith and religion, for some, they're the same. For others, quite different. All this week, WSBT 22 is exploring what faith looks like in our area. And WSBT 22's Patrick Roth is here. And Patrick, millennials are unlike any other generation when it comes to their approach to religion and faith. Yeah, Rick, according to a survey by Pew Research last year, no other generation is as skeptical of organized religion as millennials. But that's not to say they don't believe in anything. Like a lot of churches, Sunday morning is a busy day at Trinity United Methodist Church in Plymouth. A lot of people of all ages are in the pews. But a close look shows that one group isn't represented as others. Young people, specifically millennials. It's a similar story here at Christ the King Parish in South Bend. I think what's interesting is that when looking at the millennials that are at Mass, they're really active in the parish community. Um, I think part of that is there's not a cultural obligation to feel that they have to come to Mass. A similar story is playing out at churches all across the country. Pew Research shows that less than 30% of millennials go to church on a weekly basis. That's less than baby boomers and even Generation X. But that's not to say that millennials aren't necessarily spiritual or aren't looking for answers. I would say, unlike other generations, it's been my experience, they're much more unsettled if they can't live out what they're thinking about. Uh, so ideas are only real and justified if, if they have some sort of purpose uh, in, in everyday life. One of the major differences is where millennials find that sense of purpose. More than 80% of millennials say they believe in God, which is about the same as previous generations. But the major difference is in how millennials view organized religion. Fewer than 45% of millennials say religion is important in their daily lives. Uh, we've seen the culture wars that the institutional church has been very involved in, in, in culture wars, uh, political fighting, and, you know, and sometimes Jesus is identified as a certain political party, and that really turns millennials off. They're, they're not interested in those sorts of things. The general sense, I think religion has gotten a bad name. You know, people are fine being spiritual. Um, but religion is, as a, as a term, um, has become something that people don't necessarily want to associate, readily associate themselves with. While a majority of millennials are at least skeptical of organized religion, that doesn't mean they view it as something that's inherently bad either. Uh, one of the unique things about a church, uh, whether it's a Methodist one or, or really any kind of faith community, is it's supposed to be a community that brings all kinds of different people together. I think there's a lot of promise there. Um, I just think that there's also a desire and a need to kind of think differently about how we reach out to people and how we embrace people within the church. For pastors and other people within the church, millennials give them a chance to show what it means to live a life of faith. Really take people, these millennials who are, who are choosing to come to really, you can actually go much deeper and explore things much more in depth than if it's people who are really not interested, they're only there. I, one of the things I love about the millennials is they hold our feet to the fire and they say, hey, you say this, but are you going to live it out? And so I actually love that about millennials and I think it's a very positive thing for the church that they really encourage us to live out what we, what we say we believe. Now, some of the people I spoke to said that they think some of the reasoning behind millennials' faith is at least in part their age. People in their 20s tend to be less religious than most, but they point out that millennials are different than other generations. They tend to question things a little bit more than previous generations have. Yeah, it's a fascinating story that mm -hmm. you put together. You know, is there a religion or a sect that sort of bucks the trend when it comes to millennials? You know, that study by Pew Research last year showed that people of every age are actually less religious now than they were a few years ago. And in fact, the largest growing sect is a group called the nuns, meaning they're not a part of any any organized religion, not the Catholic, uh, no, right. the, not the sisters. N-O-N-E. Yes, N-O, yeah. yes. I can't spell uh, quickly. <laughs> and but as we heard in your piece, also, it's the fact that a lot of millennials think it's political, that religion yeah, is political. Yeah, and that, that's, it's interesting to see the sort of dynamic that's going out there. Um, but really, that the nuns is the fastest growing thing, and that's something that actually WSBT 22 Suzanne Spencer has been looking into, and she'll be reporting on that later this week. Yeah. Yeah.